This is the Zoom 75, and this is the Zoom Pad by Melchix, a standalone number pad with the same design, same nice build quality, and with an affordable price. And as a non numpad user, let me tell you how I integrate it to my workflow. A couple of notes before building this board, this was sent out by Melchix for an early review, and as always, this has no effect on my opinions on the board. They are watching this video at the same time as you do. Moving on over, the box and accessories on this unboxing is not reflective on the retail unit, but let's look at its content still. What you actually get from the unit is the Great Wave bag if you choose to add that option into your cart, in which inside, you'll get the heaps of accessories and components to build the numpad. These are the tri-mode or single-mode PCB, the dongle for the said PCB, the included WS tabs, the new gaskets we saw on the Zoom 75, a FlexCut PC plate, heaps of foams which will be updated in the final unit, the knob and feet, the 600mA battery if you choose the AE, as well as the screws and tools to open up the board. Finally, is the case itself in which I have the color match to my Zoom 75 navy blue colorway and I think it looks stunning along with the back case. Do also keep in mind that there's no free cable with this one. With that out of the way, let's build this board up with all the foams as well as the WS Heavy Tactiles while I discuss to you the options you could choose when the group buy starts. The one sent to me is the Essential Edition which costs $85 bare bones. There's also a wired version for 79 US and a special edition with silver champers on the edges starting at 95 US. Color options include all the colors for the Zoom 75, which means 14 colors for the AE, 2 colors for the word only, as well as 5 colors for the special edition. Add-ons include the new nightlight knob for roughly 6 to 12 US, as well as a great way bag I mentioned earlier for 16 US. You can also choose to change out your PCB and plates for cheap. And I also saw that a Southpaw option is available if you wish to. Group by starts today, the 25th, and will end July 8th, giving you plenty of time to tinker with the configurator. And with that done, here is the zoom pad with WS Heavy tactiles, thick PBT keycaps, and all the foams included. First impressions is it sounds so nice given no mods. Comparing it to my Zoom 75, I could hear the case's resemblance with the sound on both, given both have the same switches. The silent build with the silent tactiles is also a nice fit for work environments. Feel wise, it's not that bouncy with all the foams in which I configured, but I think it removing them would aid that a bit. I didn't hear any pinging or hollowness either. Moving over to the design and build quality, Meldrix didn't reinvent the wheel with this one as it just copied the design of the Zoom 75 for it to complement each other. This means it's a gasket mounted board that has a noticeable seamless side profile with the cherry lip on the front, the knob on the top right, as well as a stunning gradient back piece accompanied by the Zoom logo in the front and center. From my proto unit, I didn't see any scops or dings with the coatings and it's quite light easy to carry around. The board is also housed with a tri-mode PCB that's RGB and BIA compatible and in my experience, even with the MX Master, the Zoom, and the Zoom Pad connected, I didn't have any issues with mistyping or latency. 
and from my testing, I got the zoom battery notification from a wake of non-stop use, with the RGB set to the brightest white and with Bluetooth on. I mentioned earlier that I do not use the numpad on a daily basis, but I found a solution. This is actually a nice board for editing photos in Lightroom as I can use the top buttons as my hotkeys and the knob for the adjustments. As a demonstration, notice that I don't even use the mouse anymore while editing photos. And the precision of the knob is nice as I can finally edit my photos using the Lightroom dials. If you're interested, I can make a dedicated video on this, but for a quick reference, here's my BIA layout. Anyways, going on track, looking at the market of aluminum numpads, we only have the Q0 and Q0 Plus from Keychron that offers a simple design for a numpad and an addition of a macro column on the left side for the Plus. The only drawback to this is the board's lack of trimode connectivity and a noticeable lack of more color options. But then again, to their credit, it's an in-stock option. So in conclusion, if you're on the hunt for a premium number pad for your desk, or if you're an existing Zoom 75 user, then this number pad is a no-brainer. Even for 79 US, you're getting a steel board for the price. Putting 79 US into context, you could also buy a nice plastic board for less. But in relation to other number pads in this category, I think Maltrix hit the ballpark with this one. As a non-numpad user, I was able to maximize my use for this. But if you feel it's just FOMO and you don't use a number pad at all, then I'd say saving that money up for other keyboard purchases down the line. Overall, the Zoom Pad is another great budget keyboard from Meltrix that hits a nice target price for the right market, the Zoom 75 user base. I wish in the future they can incorporate an all column only PCB for more uses aside from a numpad and maybe an LCD for this to be a pseudo premium Elgato Stream Deck. But that's something maybe an R2 can do. For what it is, it's a nice addition to the Zoom family. How about you? What do you think of the Zoom Pad? Let me know down below. I'm John J. Bimaba, and I'll see you in the next video.